Good morning, everyone. This is Marty Harger, and I want to come talk to you today about addressing an issue that begins with the root chakra. Um, I want to talk with you about that feeling of imbalance where your world is spinning and you're feeling like nothing is stable. You know, for me, this is a story that started for me over a year ago, and um, it was this feeling that my world was changing and I have been blessed with a wonderful life. I've worked really hard for the opportunity to um, go out in the world and to serve the world. I've been able to practice massage therapy. I had a wellness center. I'm a yoga instructor. And I've gone through a whole lot of things career-wise, but I've had some significant changes in my personal life over this last year in that both of my parents passed away. Now. Many of you know what I'm talking about when, particularly parents, um, and for many of you that have been blessed like I have to have your parents around for decades and decades, you may know that when a parent passes away, things start to change in very subtle ways. I mean, of course, there's grieving, but there's also this feeling that your entire foundation of all the things you counted on and supported you are changing. And so I hope I can get through this without crying. Um, but what I found is that, you know, I've really been given examples of what happens when we pull the foundation out from under us, when we don't feel supported. And it's so ironic because a lot of times we'll have friends, we'll have a spouse, you may have children or pets or neighbors or whatever it is that gives you support. But one of the things that I've found is that there are physical and emotional connections with the root chakra imbalance. And I wanted to talk with you a little bit about that today and some of the things that I'm actually doing currently to try to help myself feel more confident and more grounded. You know, the root chakra is uh, the first chakra, the mulahara. This is a beautiful image of the root chakra as a, a mandala that is from one of my favorite books um, from a friend in doTERRA, Chakra Wellness. And I know that this is a page about the Essential Yoga Program, which is a book that I co-authored, but um, the root chakra is the base of all foundation. And many of you know all about the root chakra. You may have studied the chakra systems, you may teach the chakra systems, but today I wanted to, on a personal level, share with you some of the things that I know I'm doing and I hope that you'll consider if you too are feeling this sense of um, survival, that you need to get your life back together, that you need to um, address the fight and flight stress um, reaction that you're having. So our whole fight and flight response comes from our foundation or the root chakra. And when that is imbalanced, we can feel a lot of different things. Some of the things we can feel when the root chakra is imbalanced um, are this feeling that we are unsupported or that we're disconnected somehow from our world, from our family. We might have negative patterns in our, and generations in our family that are coming up for us. We might also find that that's manifested by either having or noticing patterns of addiction or abuse, maybe alcoholism, codependency, eating problems, we may see that when the root chakra is, and I think of it like taking the foundation, those of you who've lived through an earthquake, that whole, the shifting, the seismic shifting that happens. And so for me personally, this seismic shifting has come because I have lost both of my parents. And having just returned from spending time with um, celebrating my mother's life, I find that I am needing that kind of support so what I wanted to talk about today was the first in a series of chakra balancing talks that I want to do over the next seven weeks for you and featuring the doTERRA essential oils, good morning, that you can incorporate into not just your yoga practice, but into your life. Because if you are feeling that your sense of belonging, your sense of community, your sense of family, if you're feeling that that is completely out of whack, then there's a couple simple things you can do, but purposeful choices you can make in addition to continuing your beautiful yoga practice with a lot of meditation and grounding. Because sitting 
in meditation, quite frankly, whether you're sitting on the ground, on the earth, in a chair, in the water, <laughs> wherever you're sitting, is one of the most beautiful ways to begin to really uh, connect to your roots and reestablish new roots that make sense for you. So when we talk about the root chakra, which is, again, foundational to your sense of belonging, your sense of family, your sense of feeling supported. Some of us have been lucky enough over the years to um, experiment with some of the tools that doTERRA has available to us and that some of our wonderful crossline friends have created. But today I'm purposely wearing a red shirt. I'm wearing red earrings. I'm wearing a mala that has a cute um, little red Buddha on it and red stones along with the red Raksha beads because I am needing some comfort and red is the color of the root chakra. So sometimes even surrounding yourself with red coloration, with red crystals that have red tones, you might be somebody who wants to even start cooking with red food. I know this sounds like for some people are gonna be thinking, oh, this is kind of kooky, but no, I'm serious. Color, just like the essential oils, has a vibration to it that as we start to bring that essence and that vibration into our being, into our sphere, it honestly starts to create a sense of comfort, a sense of confidence, a sense of belonging. And so I wanted to share with you um, some of the essential oils that have worked really well for me. And one of the things that you can do as you incorporate these oils and blends is on the root chakra balance is to focus on the phrase I am and the phrase I trust. So I am strong. I am safe. I trust my relationships. I trust my friends. I trust my family. I trust that the world is a safe place for me. I trust that good things are ahead for all of us in this universe. I trust that there is a grand plan for us and I am a part of that. So as we are using the essential oils, and I'm gonna suggest a couple of different blends that you may have in your collection, you could incorporate. First and foremost, um, let, actually let me start with the single oils because I think that that's helpful to get a sense of what those are. Now I'm surrounding myself and purposely sitting in a place today in my home that has the earth element, which is what we're trying to really bring in. We're trying to bring in trees, roots, earth, grounding, 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 okay? So in order to establish the root chakra, in order to help us feel supported, that we can trust and feel safe in the world, some of the oils that are kind of simple to think about, but important are oils such as cedar wood. We may want to incorporate something like myrrh. I uh, hope you can see these, myrrh. Um, of course, vetiver, the ultimate to me is the ultimate root chakra oil. I love vetiver. I've always loved it. Patchouli is a actually a root chakra balancing essential oil. Um, frankincense is a wonderful root balancing oil, Siberian fir. So I would also like to, to say, since I just um, got back from the doTERRA Healthy Habits Tour last night, and we talked a lot about copaiba, which is such a beautiful oil. I'm going to put some on right now <laughs> as I'm talking about it. But this is a great root oil. It's from a tree, so trees grounding. So if you're like, I don't know, I'm feeling like I'm spinning out of control in my head. I'm spinning out of control in my heart. I feel unsupported. I feel alone. I feel like I can't trust what's going to happen next. What shoe is going to drop in my life next? The root chakra is where you need to start. You need to start by grounding yourself through your meditation. An aromatic use of the oils is a beautiful way to go. Or you could look at applying the essential oils to your feet. Now, I even have on red socks today. And they say, if you can read it backwards, joyful. <laughs> so joyful in the way that my I am joyful and I am going to manifest joy in my life. So I'm gonna take, for instance, Siberian fur, which is an oil that is, as an example, a great choice. Put a couple drops and apply it to the bottoms of my feet. So this is a great way to really ground yourself and incorporate oils to balance the root chakra. Now, as I've mentioned some of these oils, when I say things like 
vetiver, myrrh, frankincense, cedar wood, patchouli, um, think wood oils. And I want you to think about the blends that have wood oils. So we have our beautiful yoga collection oils you can buy individually, like the Anchor Blend. How about the Balance Blend, my ultimate favorite of all time? Console has quite a few of these deep root chakra oils. The Peace Blend, which is um, one I wear as a personal fragrance every day. And that's because the process of establishing um, balance in the root chakra is not a one-time shot, right? We all know that particularly if when this comes as a result of something that's happened in our lives that is traumatic or dramatic or shifts the foundation of who and what we've been our whole life, something changes for us. And particularly, I think, when we have something um, significant happening with someone we love, maybe something that happened in a career that we had planned on, um, one of our children, it could be or something in our community, it could be a weather incident that created um, traumatic, catastrophic things in our area, the root chakra is going to act up. And I'm going to go back to something else about the root chakra, back to my story on this. So um, the way that I know that my root chakra is messed up is that <laughs> I am a big fan of Latin, lots of approaches for natural health. I see a fantastic chiropractor, acupuncturist. I have many massage therapy friends since I was a massage therapist. I have an amazing group of yoga teachers who I practice with, and I have my own daily home meditation and yoga practice. But what I've found lately, and no surprise, is that as the root chakra foundation with my mother's passing is as that has changed and my final parent is no longer in this in this world with me i found that my entire pelvic structure my low back um my legs i have issues some things like all of a sudden happening in what i would consider the origin of the root chakra imbalance so um, if you are someone who has had significant life changes like that, and if you're somebody who is looking for solutions around that, I also want you to think about creating a blend for yourself. And I'm going to point to a couple of other wonderful references that I, I know of in doTERRA um, that I've personally invested in over the years. And I want to encourage you to think about this for those of you that are um, committed to understanding the many dimensions of your yoga practice and the chakras. So in the root chakra, this is a cool little um, aromatherapy and chakra keychain <laughs> with some simple ideas um, that's been around for quite a while. You can get these at Aroma Tools or Oil Life. Um, they also have some tear pads. So if you want to help teach other people about the chakra system, this is one that has been around for quite some time that I love. And, you know, again, I'm sorry you can't read it backwards on Facebook, but um, you can kind of see there are different, there's, these are just a couple of examples of chakra tear pads that are out there. I already mentioned to you that I'm a big fan of chakra wellness and this book by Connie Boucher, which is just incredibly thorough. And by the way, it's this just beautifully um, illustrated book. So if you're interested in learning about the chakras and exploring things like color and crystals and um, elements of the yoga practice that you can incorporate poses and oils and affirmations um, and take your own journaling notes. I think Connie's book is great. So um, I want to go back to two other things. I'm sorry if I'm a little all over the place. It's because I'm working on my root chakra balance. Um, the Essential Oil Tools Company puts together this really cool little series, and I thought I had the tear pad, but I don't. I just have the stickers for the bottle. But they actually encourage you to blend a specific chakra blend that you can use for balancing. And this one, um, this contains uh, a little bit of fractionated coconut oil, but it has coriander, eucalyptus, and spikenard. So I hadn't mentioned those, but this is what their root chakra blend is all about. So whether you decide to grab, you know, an individual oil like vetiver, applying it to your feet, I also would encourage you to apply it to the low back, to the sacrum, um, and or to your legs. You could make a lovely lotion. You could look at using the balance blend, which is, you know, again, a pre-made option. Things like the beautiful yoga anchor blend. And as you're doing that, 
I want you to think about using phrases that are starting with I am. I am safe. I am protected. I am loved. I am connected. I am abundant. I am safe. I am loved. So I talked a little bit today about incorporating color to balance the, the root chakra, put some red on. I talked about using affirmations, I am, I trust, and incorporating those as you are applying essential oils that are of a grounding nature, earth element oils. I also encourage you to think about getting some tools that will help you explore more on learning about the chakra system and the essential oils, and perhaps even making your own little blends that will incorporate some of your favorites to help you in balancing your root chakra. So I hope that you have found this to be an interesting discussion today. Um, thank you all so much for watching. Um, those of you who have gone through some loss lately, I'm sure you understand what I'm talking about. And I just want to wish you all a beautiful day. I'm so glad to be connected to you. And I'm looking forward to exploring the other chakras as we go through the next six weeks together. Um, I hope that you'll find some tips and ideas you can use today to know that you can trust the universe. Namaste.